Welcome back to the Galarians playthrough. Ba -ding! So let's see. Hold up. Last time I went into a room and got killed by three motherfuckers. Let's avoid that. So I actually went, I loaded the game up to see if I could kill them or if there was like an easy way to kill them without uh, wasting a lot of resources. And I just don't think it's really worth it. So I think I'm just going to uh, not do that. And the thing is, I don't even, I can't really think of any good reason to go in in the first place because the room that they're in, I can't, like there's another door and I can't even open that door. So... I think the best way to deal with them is to just wait till my AP meter goes up. And then when I go in there, just instant kill all of them pretty much. So we're not going to be doing that. 301. Oh, shit. Whoa, fuck. It's, lo <laughs> it's locked tight. I got set up here. I got straight up set up. You know what? I I got you. I get it. But the fact that they lock the door after you come in, like that's really what makes it bullshit. <laughs> that's what makes it bullshit to me. Cause it's it's like they're they're, they're trying to force dip difficulty. You know. Because really, if not for the locked door, you wouldn't have much of an issue here. There's no trace of Lilia anywhere. I'll tell you what, though. If <laughs> if there's nothing in here, I'm not even going to come in here. I'm not going to let... I'm not going to... No trace of Lilia. No trace of Lilia. If there's nothing in here... Let me see. Okay. I must find Lilia. Okay. 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 Uh, there's no reason to come in here. So I'm just like, fuck that. Or maybe it's like they want you to, like, you have to kill them. Maybe it's something like that, but uh, hold up. Let me go get killed real quick. Okay, if that's how it is, then at least let me be prepared. But I think that the game is being rather cheap. By for Basically, you walk into the room and then the door locks behind you. You know, that's like, they're pretty much just trying to force difficulty where there would normally be a, a way out, you know? Because that's pretty much what I did when I was in the uh, the other stages. If I ever ran into a room and unexpectedly ran into an enemy, then I would just go out through the, <laughs> through the same door. But now I'm noticing that they're locking the door behind you so that you can't... And really, um, the reason why it's such a good strategy is because I think a lot of times the enemies, they do depend on getting the jump on you in order to, you know, to get you. It's, it's just the way the game is, where it's like whoever gets the first hit has the advantage. And if you go into a room not expecting anyone, then, yeah, they can get you. But I think I have to, I think I have to go in that room. I think they really want me to go in there. The guest in 301 is paging you. See, because Reinhardt is telling you to go in there. And then when you clear the room and come out, he's gone. So that makes me believe that they actually want you to come in here and fight. Which is fine. As long as I already know what's going on. See, it's a big difference. <laughs> when you already know when you already know that they're in there 
it changes everything, and that's why they had to do that. That's why they had to lock to lock the door, because you go in there not expecting it, and so you're just a little bit behind on your charge. So they get the first free, they get the first hits, and that changes everything. It changes everything. But as long as I know that that makes all the difference. I mean, I guess, I guess you could kind of justify it. I guess you could kind of justify it. You could say like they're using their psychic powers to lock the door or something. It's like they're intentionally setting you up. Like, it's not like it's an impossibility. But I think the reality is when they were, ooh, recovery capsule. I think the reality is when they were making this game, more than likely... They they notice in play testing that you could just go into a room and if you saw an enemy, you could just walk right back out. And then go in prepared, knowing that they're knowing that they are there. And that makes all the difference. That's what I think happened. You can justify it, you know, you can you can explain it away, but I think it really just comes down to the fact that they didn't want the players to be able to do that. Because it gives you a slight advantage. I'm trying to remember what rooms had stuff in them that I left. So I know that, what was it, 306? 306 has a recovery capsule in there. So we'll keep that in mind. Definitely don't go in there. Now what about 303? I really don't even know what I'm doing right now. Okay, this was the room with the assassin guy. Another recovery capsule, so that's cool. We know that's there, and there's some red. We know that's there. I think my inventory is full right now, though. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up now. I think I actually got room for one more. Okay. So we'll keep the red. This is just terrible. You gotta wonder what he was doing with all this ammunition. Okay, and this is 304. Just make sure you keep your finger on the trigger. Okay, so that girl must be dead now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I think this is a fresh body. She's been murdered. Why? Damn. They hung. I mean, they're fucking them up, too. <laughs> it really doesn't make sense. You see a dirty bathtub. Like, why they're killing all the occupants in the hotel. I don't know. Maybe it's like, uh, maybe they can sense people. But the more people in the vicinity, the harder it is to laser in on who you're looking for. And so it might be a situation where they're trying to find Lilia. So they're like, let's just kill everybody. <laughs> let's just track down and kill everyone until we find her. And there's another recovery capsule here. We got plenty of recovery capsules. That's cool. So we know that on the third floor, there are three recovery capsules and some Nalcon. I might go down to the first floor, actually, and save again. And then check all the rooms on the second floor. The door is shut tight. You can't, you can't open it. So they definitely wanted to make sure nobody could leave. 
outlook first. I can't wait to kill that fat bitch. <laughs> I tell you that much. Let me just check in here again real quick. Damn. The desk is all beat up. Worker lockers, okay. Yeah, I was just double checking. Um, one thing I realized too is I never injected the D felon. So that's the extra space that we have. Yeah, I didn't realize it. I thought that the uh, it was already filled up. Okay. I think, I believe those are the only three powers though. This game is pretty short too. Like I, I think it's probably only gonna be about 10 episodes or something like that. But it's kind of a shame. Well, I guess not. You think about it, like, it's about the same length as, what, like, Resident Evil? If you think about it. Survival horror games, especially of this era, tended not to be very long to begin with. But I guess it's just because of the type of game that it is. Like, it's something about this game. I just feel like... I just feel like it could it could have been longer. Like I think they had a lot to work with in as far as the concept, but they just chose not to. <laughs> like I think this could have easily been I think this could have easily been like a 20 to 25 hour game at least instead of a basically like 10 hour game. I honestly I think that there was enough here to build to build a 20 hour game on. And I don't understand why the game is three this long, but it's ten hours. Like the game, the game is three this, but it's ten hours long. Like, make that make sense? That makes no sense. Like, isn't Final Fantasy VII three this long? <laughs> Final Fantasy VII is like three three this, right? I believe it's like three this. And is much, much longer in this game. <laughs> if you're not speedrunning. It's off limits, so I'm just not going to get... They know how stupid that is. You better hop that damn thing. But anyway. And then to add insult to injury, the way they lie and say the game is like 50 hours long or something. Can't help you, but the guy in 201 might know. Okay. So he's still alive. I'm just making sure I got everything here. I do got one space. He says, I've never seen any of these PPECs. But if this guy here is selling them, does that mean that like psychic powers are a known thing? I guess based on the story, it just kind of seems like all of this was done in secret, you know? Okay, this is the nuclear bomb room. I think we had already been in here. Meet me in room 305 later. Everyone seems to want to join in on my plan. He says, meet me in room 305 later. 305 is the room where there were, um, there's three guys in there, three enemies. And yeah, I'm going to definitely use my AP. <laughs> my AP, uh, my short circuit mode to take them out. You gotta admit, the whole concept of like uncontrollable psychic power has always been kind of cool. Going back to Akira, 
You see some red. Okay. You know, it's kind of interesting going back and watching the, the Game Informer play through this game. And just some of the, the comments that they made about this game's design, I found interesting because they noticed a lot of the things that I did. Like, in particular, the limited inventory space. That was one thing. Um, and they even commented on how it's limited, but you don't have the item box to make up for it. And so... You know, it creates this situation where you have you have to leave items and you can't really stockpile them the way that you can in Resident Evil, um, in, like the Resident Evil games, or at least the ones that had item boxes and whatnot. I'm not, I'm not completely against it because I get it as far as like making the game more challenging. Um... Hold on, let's go. In fact, let's now that we got our AP maxed out, let's go upstairs and go ahead and take out those three goons. Wait, let me check this real quick. This clock. Yep, kill them all until only Lilia is left. But he's on a killing spree right now. I like how Rion just walked past him, knowing what he's doing, but whatever. But yeah, I get it. I get it because I think that really it's about just not allowing the player to have an easier time by having an abundance of resources. That, that's really what it comes down to. Okay, so we're going to take these guys out. I'm just, I'm mashing the button right now. I'm mashing the button. Okay. Oh, great. So is, is this door unlocked now? It's locked, it won't budge. Okay. Now we only got two Dell meters left. Well, one now. He said to meet in room 305. Well, at least we got those guys taken out. But I knew the best way to deal with them was just to use your uh, short circuit, so. I'm going to check that girl's room one more time. Which one was her room? What, wasn't it right here? But of course, you know, Resident Evil was a bit different in, how, in their approach because they were like, you know, you can... There we go. They were basically like, you can stockpile the items if you want to. <laughs> so, and, but you just, you got to put them in the item box. So you see that the clear difference. But I also think Resident Evil, even though uh, this game obviously draws a lot of inspiration from Resident Evil. I think it's also different too. As far as like, you know, the amount of enemies you have to deal with versus the amount of resources you have and things like that. I think the only thing about it that makes it ridiculous, and they commented on this too, is, is the fact that it's not like he's carrying around guns and shit. <laughs> Which then would make sense, right? Because to me, when you're talking about guns and boxes of ammunition uh, you can see how that would take up a lot of space okay so I did have to kill those guys
This is the guy that killed your parents. You killed Birdman, didn't you? I am Reinhardt. Now it's your turn to die. So it was you who killed everyone. <laughs> they got a koofy on. So what if I killed them? It's my mother who you should be scared of. We must obey. You must obey what she says. Stop it! It's time for your medicine. No. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. No, no medicine. It's only 250. He went through the damn wall. Lily, I heard you. Oh, the ceiling. I heard your voice. Where are you? Call out to me. I felt the sadness in Reinhardt's soul. Fuck him. Please come to me, Rihan. Will ya? Okay, so we made some progress there. Alright, so we can't interact with that anymore. I gotta be careful about going back into these rooms, though. Might get into an unnecessary scuffle. Various tools are strewn about. Okay. Recovery capsule. You can't take it. Your medicine pouch is full. Okay. Is there anything I need to use? I could use a red, right? Or should I save it? Hmm. I think I'll go ahead and use it. I think I will just go ahead and use it. But I think I'll leave that one space open still. I still feel like we're no closer to finding Lilia. We did make some progress, but. But yeah, you know, the thing is, he's all he has to carry is a bunch of peels. That's the whole point, though. Another God damn they, they leave a lot of recovery capsules around here. Oh, they killed him too. Who could have done this? Oh God. How symbolic. Hung the Jesus guy up like he was Jesus. That's fun. You see is that another one or is that the same one? They got plenty of recovery capsules around here. But I'll leave most of them where they are just in case I need them for the boss battle. But he only has to carry around pills. That's the thing about it. Like, I guess it's kind of like that same Resident Evil thing where it doesn't make sense how... It doesn't make sense how a key takes up the same amount of room <laughs> as a shotgun or something like that. But I guess it's one of those things we'll always be complaining about. But then I think it then it becomes an issue of like how do you how do you differentiate between items that are just so small that it would take up next to no room in your inventory? And items that should be, you know, should take up room. Like, I mean, for instance, if there's like a puzzle where you need a book versus a key, you know, I can see how a book could take up a whole inventory space, but not a key. But then where do you put the key? <laughs> killed him too. Damn, what could have killed? You know who the fuck it was. I mean, got you seeing the visions. Like, what are we even talking about here, Rian? You know who's killing these guys. There's no trace of Lilia anywhere. Yeah, I think it is. Wait, how did he kill them so quickly, though? 
Because I, I just, I was just talking to everybody. So now the drug guy must be dead too. And that would make everybody. Oh, damn. He's still alive. Fuck. Damn, consider yourself lucky. You know, the one thing I'm worried about, there's not a lot of Dell meter in this place. I found plenty of recovery capsules, but Dell meter seems to be rare. So I'm gonna go back down to level one. He's dead though, right? Okay. Maybe it's got something to do with that light. I think I'll go turn that light out. I'm not sure if this will do anything, but Let me go save too. The power is, oh my God, that's stupid. The power is out so you can't save. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. Come on now. Okay, what about this? So now you get a different vision with the light out. You can actually see in the boiler room. But you still can't just jump over it, which is stupid. The desk clerk is gone. Yeah, I think he's kind of dead, man. Let's check the bathroom again, then we'll check the elevator, then we'll turn the light back on. Oh boy. I feel like none of this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. The electrical system diagram. I mean, I just, uh, I don't see how that can really help me, though. It's not like I can go anywhere while it's turned off, so. I get so tired of running into objects with tank controls. But I also got to say, 
Gotta say, I wish they would bring games like these back somehow. I know that probably sounds crazy, but... Like, if there was just, like, a bigger, like, uh, indie horror game community. Because I know some people do, like, these Resident Evil remixes and things like that. So I guess that's kind of that's kind of similar to what I'm thinking about, but I just think that this was a different time. This was a different time in gaming where I think nowadays you wouldn't get a game like this. <laughs> Nowadays, you just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see a, a Galarian's. Because the cost of make, of making video games is just so high now. You just gotta think like who's gonna who's who's gonna green light a Galarian's in 2023? Maybe that door is open now. I won't fail this time, mother. Fucker. Well, we found him. What the hell? This is him. This is how you fight, nigga. <laughs> this is how you fight, man. Recovery capsule. We got plenty. Fuck. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> D felon. This is great. Can I combine it? Oh, I was, <laughs> I was trying too hard there. <sighs> this is great because you can just, you can easily hit him with this. Look at that. Wow. Ooh. Did I kill him? What a bitch.
please, don't tell mother. Don't tell her I failed. She'll scream at me and then make me take that horrible medicine. I hate it. Mother just wants you to get stronger. You must take your medicine. But it turns me into a monster. They're destroying my true self. It's already three o'clock. Time for your medicine. No, it's only 2.50. It's not time yet. Serial killer peels. <laughs> Damn. But it looked like they just injected him with Nalcon. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. There's a beast lurking in my mind. It makes me look like the killer. But I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You gotta believe me. You must not tell her. Tragic, absolutely tragic. I wanted the satisfaction of avenging my parents, and now I can't even have that because he was just another poor child like myself. Reinhardt, I'll never forget you. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Don't go that far. I mean, look, it's a, I get it. It's unfortunate. It's kind of sad, but come on, bro. <laughs> Let's be real. You already forgot about Birdman. It's locked. It won't. But God, that, is everything locked here? Damn. That was so much easier than the Birdman fight by um Country Mal. Reinhardt was a bitch, bro. Like if you're if we're just comparing power levels based off how difficult the in, the bosses are, whoa. <laughs> like B Birdman is at least a 10 to Reinhardt's 3. I mean, that's just if I can even give him that much. That was just a man. I beat the hell out of him. And really, the, the D-Felon was just perfect against him. I think that was his, his weakness because the range on the D-Felon is so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. So I can afford to grab some more stuff. But what? that was one floor in particular where there were a, a lot of shit laying around. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, we killed Reinhardt. So the next boss is going to be Rita. Now, from what I remember, from what I remember watching Game Informers play through, Rita was pretty difficult. I think almost as difficult as Bird, man, from what I remember. But I might be misremembering. <laughs> I might uh, be misremembering it, but that's... At least that's what I think, is that she was pretty difficult. Because I think, uh, I think Birdman's spe specialty was Nalcon. Reinhardt's is Red, and Rita's is D Felon. So she's, she's one that's throwing, like, tables at you and shit, <laughs> basically. But we'll see. Let me just check all the rooms again to make sure I grab enough stuff to be able to deal with whatever she has going on. Recovery capsule, fantastic. Fantastic. So how many items do we have now? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can get one more. Okay, this is 305, not going in yet. Okay, so our AP is maxed out. If we run into an enemy, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble because that means that we're gonna have to use our last Dale meter. I feel like this stage just hasn't given you enough of them though. Like they, they've been giving me everything except a lot of Dale meter. That drug dealer guy is still alive though, right? I think he's the last the last occupant of the hotel that is still alive. 
A suit has been laid out. How many times have I read that? No trace of Lilia. Another recovery capsule. Should I go ahead and take that? I think I will. I think I'll go ahead and snatch that up. It's probably a bit much, but... So let's go see if that drug dealer is still alive. Then we'll go to the first floor and say. Okay. If he's dead, then this hotel is just so lonely. Yep. <laughs> Damn. He's been murdered. Rita must have killed him. No, it was Reinhardt. But I he was alive when I right before I ran into Reinhardt. Folded his ass up. So it's something about those injections that turn Reinhardt into a killer. But I wonder if it's the same for everybody else as well, though. Cause Birdman didn't really seem to show any regret. Or the same kind of like resistance or trauma to what was going on. I mean, he was obviously unhinged, but he seemed to kind of embrace the madness. I guess some people just like that. Oh, it's you again. He's acting very what casual. Are you, doing? are you blind? I'm checking out the hotel blueprints. They demolished the old hotel to build this one. Kept the same crummy old plumbing. The hotel shares a boiler with that abandoned restaurant next door. You know, I really hate this building. So I can get to that restaurant by going through the boiler room? I suppose so. But why bother? It's out of business, so there's nothing there now. Okay, thanks. All right, so let's go say a restaurant. I did not. That's something I don't remember. But so far, I've definitely been having a good time with this game. I was expecting it to be more of a nuisance, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, I was. Because, you know, the thing is, you go back and play some of these older, some of these older video games, they just haven't aged well, you know? And I think uh, the the way that some of these games are just so rough around the edges, it can make it frustrating to play. I feel like the Birdman part was definitely, like, the worst, though. Everything else has been fairly manageable. But I got to say, one thing I'm up, I'm definitely upset about is the fact that he could have jumped over that little thing to get through the boiler room the whole time. That's just unacceptable. <laughs> that's To me, that's just unacceptable game design. So that's why it's so hot and humid. Now, I might be wrong. But I think the Rita fight is like right after the Reinhardt fight. Like, I don't think it takes long before you run into her. I wonder if this elevator is broken, it won't respond. Okay, well there's a ladder over here. You know another game I would love to do? Another game I would love to do is uh, Parasite Eve. <laughs> I never beat Parasite Eve 2. I don't think I beat it. But I would love to do Parasite Eve. That's a cool game, but I don't know. I, I think that's like a, I think that, that'll be a game better for streaming as opposed to like recording it. Cause it's kind of long. It's probably at least like 20 hours or something. I think you got to turn off the electricity in here to be able to go to the other elevator. 
So essentially, I think they want you to cut off yourself from this part of the of the map. Now there are definitely some more items out uh, upstairs, but I think that I have everything that I really would want. Let me just double check real quick, see where, where everything is at. Red is full. Now Khan is full. We don't have any more defelling juice. <laughs> And I think we got plenty of, yeah, we got plenty of power there. I say I would, the only thing I would change, I would exchange like well, maybe one recovery pill for a Dell meter. Because I only got one left. So if I run into an enemy, um, that's going to be a pretty interesting situation. But I'm probably like just once, oh shit. Oh fuck. Now they want to show up. I'm probably like one minute away from finding a lock appears to have been released. The elevator has started working. I'm probably one minute away from finding another Dell meter, so that's cool. I thought about trying to kill those guys, but now I was like, nah, I should just go straight to the elevator. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a restaurant. It's all dusty. No one has used it for some time. Red. Okay. I like the sound effects here, though. They got the uh, plates, the broken plates all over the floor. And the footsteps... The footsteps are very accurate to us on the floor. You know, you can hear, you can hear, you can hear him actually stepping on the broken plates and shit. That's cool. You gotta enjoy that kind of attention to, de to detail. Okay. Now something tells me I won't be able to get in here. Never mind. <laughs> I don't remember this part. Oh, that's where I came in at? I'm tripping for real. I forgot so quickly. I thought I came in through that brown door. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Is the boss fight going to start right now? It might, because I just found Lilia, but I did. I wish I would went through that other door. Lilia! Rian? My father's dead, isn't he? I call for him, but there's no reply. You look so tired. Have they hurt you? I've been secretly moving from place to place over the past month. But don't worry, I'm okay. Oh boy. I've heard your voice in my mind so many times. She's gonna want revenge. I feel your suffering. When you feel pain, I feel it too. I'm sorry I took so long. Your voice helped me so much. Congratulations, Rion. You found her. Who are you? Rita. I've come to bash her brains in. Are you a Galarian too? Mother fears the virus program hidden in Lilia's mind. Mother can't even sleep at night. You humans are such fools. Our fate lies solely in Mother's hands. The voice acting is so now bad. Now I shall avenge my dear brother. See, Reinhardt wasn't too bright, but he was my pride and joy. He was gentle as could be. Don't you see? He was the only brother that I had left. And that is why I'm going to make sure that you die a slow and extremely painful death. I could have done better than her as a guy. 
<laughs> Yo, it's, it's like Don't I remember. Worry. I know I can disrupt her psychokinesis with my power. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. You little punk. Ah, that's funny. They don't make them like this anymore, I tell you that much. As far as like the voice acting, whoa. It uh, it just doesn't even get this bad anymore. So I'm pretty sure Short Circuit is not gonna work on her. So let's get that out the way. All right, so let's use our one Dale meter. Now the problem is we gotta defeat her. Before our AP gets back up, or we're fucked. Okay, so let's use uh. Okay, I don't think the is gonna work on her. Damn. Hold up. There we go. And then maybe... I like that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. And then... Can I do this? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, I like this. Okay, that doesn't work. Get your ass up. Yeah. Oh my god, what's she doing? Oh fuck. I'm glad I got all these goddamn um recovery capsules though. Okay, let's take one just to get back into this and then switch back to red oh fuck I'm just running it's hard to follow up oh my god damn it, yeah it's hard to follow up now because she's summoning the uh Oh, she's summoning the items to attack me with. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. So let me take some red. Hold up, and I'm gonna hold up now. Nah. Oh shit. Whoa, that did so much damage. That's kinda crazy. Oh no. I feel like this game is kind of ridiculous sometimes. With the, oh, fuck. With the damage? Sometimes the damage that you take just doesn't make sense. I swear I lost like half my health there. Unless I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. 
damn. You know, I think I'm better off just using the red. <laughs> um, let me see. So we got three more. I might as well try to use the skip, right? Fuck. So let me use the other red here. And I went back down to level one. I hate the way skip works in this game, bro. It's, just, it's so, it's so bad. All right, it's getting to the point where I just, I'm gonna have to, what? She got right back up there. I couldn't do anything. Like I'm gonna have to get hit to hit her. That's where we are now. The window's the opportunity to hit her getting smaller and smaller. Whoa, I had like not even a second, bro. Okay. Well, it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> You get like one second to to get her. So you gotta take it. Die. crazy that's that is crazy you get like one second dude Good luck trying to get a, a full charge. And even when you get the chance to hit her, like you look now, I, I could go for it, but then she'll get right back up there. Okay. Die. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we got something here. Fuck, I thought I could get her on the way up. Amazing. <laughs> That's just amazing, bro. Die. That's just amazing. Let's try again. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely amazing. Really what makes it hard is the the tiny window of time that you have to actually hit her. At first, it's not that bad, but it gets worse and worse and worse. But I was starting to notice a bit of a pattern. So, let's just try again. Oh, fuck. I'm about to get hit. And I think right now, probably b best time to use Skip. Oh fuck, never mind. Of course. Ran out. Okay. Oh boy. Here we, it begins. And I get hit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to try to use more now con. Oh, my God. 
Okay. This game is always fine up until the boss fights. Then it just gets like ridiculous every time. Except for Reinhardt and Lim. But once the boss fights decide to be actually difficult, then it's 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 just uh, it's so jarring. I I guess to like the rest of the game. I see the pattern. Die. Fuck. Fuck. I tried, bro. <laughs> like when I say I tried to get away from this bitch, I really did. I mean, I got left like, okay, three. And I'm hit. <laughs> I'm definitely hit there. I can't win now. <laughs> Die. Oh boy, okay. I think during the boss battles, you should not be able to just short circuit. For sure. And I think <laughs> this is exactly why. <laughs> this is exactly why. All right, let's quit. Let's quit. Um, I got a feeling that in the room before you start the boss battle, there's a Dell meter because I didn't check one of those doors. I was just starting to figure out figure out the pattern though. Like it was just starting to it was just starting to click. I was fucking up still, but the Okay, welcome back to the Galarian's playthrough. Sorry for the abrupt ending of the last episode. But you know, I realized something about what's wrong with the boss fights in this game. And it's really that 
the boss fights in this game are just more demanding of what the, is would really be fair to be. And what I mean is, when you look at where this game draws its inspiration, you know, that would obviously be like Resident Evil. And when you look at Resident Evil in terms of its gameplay, its combat, and its boss fights, none of the boss fights, or I forget to turn off that goddamn light every time. But um, none of the boss fights are really all that demanding in, in regards to um, movement in particular. And I think that's what makes the boss fights in this game, I think poorly, poor, I would say poorly designed. Because when you look at Resident Evil, which is a game that has tank controls obviously tank controls greatly limits the player's mobility and ability to just move around in general and so obviously when you have the boss fights in resident evil they don't really require you to do like a lot of pinpoint precision movement or anything like that the bosses are somewhat challenging but you can tell that it's all balanced around what the player can do And I think more so specifically the limitations of having to deal with tank controls. And I feel like with this game, you don't really have that. I think that's really the big issue with the boss fights in this game. I mean, when you really pay, when you really pay attention to it, <laughs> you really pay attention to the boss battles and the attack patterns of the enemies. You don't see anything like that in pretty much any of the Resident Evil games. But this game doesn't really provide you any sort of offensive options to make up for that. So basically it's like, in terms of your, your movement, you're just as limited as you would be, um, oh, hold up, let me see. Uh, what can I do here? How should I do this? Mm, I'll just take this and then skip. But yeah, it's like this game requires you to do so much more as far as like dealing with the enemy patterns and having to evade their attacks. And you know it's with Resident Evil, you don't have to do nearly as much of that sort of movement because again, you got tank controls. It would be pretty unreasonable to expect that of the player given the limitations of their movement options and really just how slow and clunky <laughs> tank controls are. But this game puts you in battles. This game really puts you in battles where it's almost like they feel like you don't even have to deal with tank controls basically. When you look at all the shit they're throwing at you, it's crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get a skip in. Okay. That man, that one is hard to avoid for sure. This is like to me that's that's her worst attack. Or best attack. Uh. 
I mean, just look at what you have to do here, man. <laughs> just, it's crazy. And then, and then you get hit, you lose your upgrade. It's just, oh my God, dude, I swear. But we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll defeat her. That's what we do. It's cool. This game is really, it's fine. But the boss fights, I just think, are too demanding. That's really what it comes down to for me. I actually, I actually uh, beat her. But uh, something happened with the recording. <laughs> so I got to fight her again. So that's a big bummer. But yeah, I had beat her like five minutes ago. And wouldn't you know, something happens with the recording. Die. Okay. But I don't mind that much because I was just starting to figure out her pattern and how to beat her. Die. It was just starting to come to me. Let me use a skip here. Make sure I don't fuck this up. Die. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Slam dunk! With this, I'll be able to crush you. No, you're too weak. If you inject yourself, mother told me that moment of shorting feels oh so good. Rita, you've gone insane. It does. Insane. We're all slowly but surely going mad. We just haven't realized it yet. No! No! <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. That was easier than I thought it would be, though. Like, I saw myself figuring it out the last time. But when I really put it into action, it took her out pretty fast. Are you all right? Don't worry about me. I don't like myself anyway. Oh, I hate this power that I possess. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I always wanted the end to come, but I never would die. What a beautiful snow. It's like having a terrifying and wonderful vision. I have never felt such tranquility before. Can you feel what I'm feeling right at this moment? If Mother is God, why would she inflict you with such a cruel fate? Where did your true self go? You are now nothing but an empty vessel pretending to be human. It's too bad we'll never meet again. Rion, I beg you, please destroy me. My head aches so. Please, it hurts so bad. Will he do it? I just can't stand it anymore, Rion. Oh. Rion, don't do it! Lilia, it's the only way. She's decided she wants to die now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but please, just do it. I can't stand it any longer either. Please forgive me. No! Oh. Boop. <laughs> I wonder what he used. Did he set her brain on fire? 
Did he use D Felon to lift her brain in her skull and then slam it in her skull? I don't know. Lilia, please don't cry. Leon, where did you get such power? I was experimented on in the hospital. The voice acting is terrible in this game. Don't believe it. Huh? What is it? Oh, it's nothing. Saying it once just doesn't express how bad it is. I gotta say it every episode. This voice acting is so, so bad. And all of them, all of them are bad. I can't pick out one that doesn't suck. All the voice actors did such a terrible job. Injected with the PPEC, now live in fear of Dorothy, the mother computer. But here's the good part. She lives in fear of a virus program. And that is where I come in. They all live where the networks converge, in the Mushroom Tower, high above Michelangelo City. I must destroy Dorothy. Nothing can stop me now. Not even the dark city night that fills my heart with fear. <laughs> oh my God, this writing is terrible. It's a pretty cool game, but this writing is awful, man. So I think that's the end of disc two. Save current game. Yes. Okay. So we got through that. Rita wasn't that bad once I figured out what her pattern was. But I think I got lucky there too. Because if you notice, she does the one attack where she will bring out the tables and chairs and throw them all at you at once. And then she'll try to dive in at you. And then there's like two seconds where you had the opportunity to attack her. And once I realized that, I was taking that every chance that I got. But she doesn't always do that. She also has an attack pattern where she'll have the chairs and tables coming at you while she's on the table and chasing you around. And so it seems like during the previous times when I fought her, she would mix it up more. That time she kept using the same pattern over and over again. She kept using that, the... Um, the uh, the attack where she throws all of the items at you at once and then dives at you and leaves herself wide open. She kept doing it over and over and over again. And that's how I was able to take her out so quick. And I used the skip. And the other thing was because she was using that particular, particular attack, I wasn't getting hit as much. So I was able to keep the skip and do more damage on her. But I did very good there. But the thing is, and it's, it's like I said before, man, I think the boss battles are the biggest issue that I have with this game. Because they expect more of you than what they really should. Given the fact that you're limited by the clunkiness of tank controls, yet you're supposed to be evading chairs, like incoming chairs and tables, and then she's coming at you too. I just think, uh, I think they just overdid it with that particular aspect of the boss battles. Um, and when you look at Resident Evil, I'm always using Resident Evil as the example because they set the blueprint for these kind of games. You notice that they pretty much, for the most part, don't design their bosses like that. Um, they like everything is designed around understanding that you're limited by tank controls, and so the difficulty is, I think, more fair and balanced. But with this game, I just think that they tried to create these these very dynamic fights with a lot going on. But while you're still hindered by the limitations of how the game is designed, even going back to the Birdman fight, when you look at those parts where he was able to attack you when you couldn't see him because of the fixed camera angles, like that's the perfect example of what I'm talking about, right? When they, it seems like they're trying to do, they're trying to do too much and they don't really take into account how the game or how the player is limited because of the game's design. They just want to do whatever they want as far as making these bosses, making these characters have these cool powers. And then you got to deal with having to maneuver around it when you don't really have the proper tools to do so. But <sighs> luckily we got through that. And um, so I will see you guys on the next episode of Galarian's. Hold up. Where would I save this at? Here? Yeah, I will see you on the next episode of Galarians. And the next episode, I would say the next two, 
probably like probably got like two episodes left. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Johnny.